and I know I missed the January favorites last month which is a terrible start to the year but I thought I would make it up to you guys by mixing up my monthly favorites this year I thought I would mix it up by bringing in my favorite friends and youtubers into my monthly favorites and seeing what they like but this month I have a special guest with me Smee! Hey! <laughs> Little run! I'm yeah. a traditional run! Um, so yeah today we're doing uh, our February favorites um, hey. I will put all of Smee's links in the description below or, you know, you can click your face. Since you're the guest, do you want to start? Cool, okay. Well, I will start with my favourite mascara, which is something that I've been loving this month. It is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. I think I bought this about a month ago from recommendation from my sister and I really, really like it. It's got a really nice brush on it, so it's a little bit curved, so it kind of, you don't really need to use an eyelash curler when you're using it. I've tried that one. Yeah, it is really nice. It is a good mascara. Yeah. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> the first favourite I have is the Naked Palette. And um, I've had this for quite some time now, but I've never really used it. But I've been using it heaps this month. And so I'm actually putting it to use, which is great. But yeah, I've been using like all of the light kind of colours. I'm wearing, actually, I'm wearing two shades on my eyes right now. It looks very nice. Yeah. I'm so jealous. It's so pretty. I like that some of them are matte as well. Yeah. Uh, my Real Techniques brushes. So I have two sets. This is the Core Collection and the Star set. Um, so they come in packs like this and they also come in really handy little cases for if you're traveling which is really quite cool and I use a bunch of these for different foundation and eyes and everything and they're really really good brushes if you need some makeup brushes I would definitely recommend getting these ones. Mm, they're awesome, they're like so good, they're so like cheap as well. Yeah they are, really they're good so, value for yeah. money. Mm. We both have a favorite nail polish from the same brand but in different colours and um, we're both liking the Topshop nail polishes. What's your one? My one is Boy Next Door so it's a really nice a turquoise blue colour. Um, so even though summer is officially gone in New Zealand, I like to wear this and it is nice and bright and gives something to a little bit of an outfit. Mm -hmm. uh, the colour I have is Ruthless and I've been looking for like a dark kind of burgundy colour but I like this one because it's more like it's more of a brown burgundy than like a red purple yeah. burgundy. So yeah. It's really nice. And we're both wearing <laughs> not nothing else today. Wasn't so, planned. Not planned. Yeah. <laughs> the next favourite I have is the Antipodes uh, Aura Manuka Honey Mask. Ooh. And it's just a really nice face mask. Smell it. Oh that is really it's, nice. It smells really good, so it smells like Are you manuka. Yeah, like with a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. It smells it's really good for um, Kind of just soothing blemishes, but also helps with a lot of dryness, um, so it's quite moisturizing or cool. Yeah. My next product is actually a jewelry, and I've got some of them on at the moment, but they're these bronze or rose gold midi rings. My sister got them for me in Europe. I think they're either from HRM or from Primark. Um, it was a spot of about 20 different rings, and they're all different sizes, so I can wear them as midi rings halfway up my finger or as just normal rings and they're really really cool. I wear a bunch of them at different times and they're really nice. I like them. They're cool. Um, I have one last favourite and it's not something I could show you but I think last week or the week before I went to go see 12 Years a Slave. Oh, okay. No seen? I haven't seen it yet. Um, it's, to. it's incredible. It's very, it's a, the, the acting is brilliant. It's, the realism is so brutal mm -hmm. and just you know so like Heart-wrenching, heart yeah. gut-wrenching, like at the end of the movie I was just like, my eyes were so watery that I couldn't read the like self, like the, the epilogue like text oh, at the no. end. And I was just like, oh, because I didn't want my friends to know that I was like, oh. I just got um, something in my yeah. eye. So um, yeah, it was just like, I left the cinema just uh, emotionally drained, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard it's good actually, I think they should go and see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the February favourites. If you want to see another YouTuber, um, let me know who you want to see in my next favourites in the comments and I'll do my best to get them in the video. Zoella? Zoella! I've got her number, I'll call her later. Yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe, go hit the subscribe button. And if you want to go subscribe to Sine, I think you should because she puts out good videos. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>
just like an insta. The thing is, I would totally just jump off and like do it, or you might die. I'd rather die. <laughs> It'll be even funny because just be like. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. You're watching me. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 